about the highest piano concert in the world today, getting you two together just to have a little chat about it. So here we are, Evelina, Desmond. So I'm just going to start off by asking you how did you first meet Evelina? Well I was working in the back of the workshop and then suddenly I heard this wonderful music uh, which sounded very special. I mean I am used to concert pianists coming here. This, uh, they, they do pop in, but suddenly I heard something very special. And there must have been something about her playing which in, enticed you to invite her to play the highest concert in the world? Well, I'm honoured that she's chosen to uh, adopt the course and, and try and, and, and join us in this. Um, but yes, there was something special because uh, the only other time I've ever heard uh, Chopin interpreted like that it was in the days of my grandfather who, who was a leading pianist at the time uh, but that would have been 45 years ago so I haven't heard anything since then in that special style. Okay so you're very environmentally aware and yes. this project is no exception to that? Well now it's become through the traveling we've become very very interested and concerned about the plastic waste problem so uh, that is what we're focusing on now with the highest piano concert in the world. That will be uh, to raise awareness at the foot of a, a, a glacier which every year grows further and further away and smaller and smaller. Um, uh, and everywhere that you go where you see the discarded plastic waste. So what we're trying to do now is to uh, raise awareness that plastic, for example, can be used for very, very useful building activities. You can build earthquake resistant houses out of them. You can, you can build uh, underground irrigation systems out of, out of what is normally just being thrown away. So yes, we're interested in, in uh, raising awareness of new techniques that can actually uh, help the landscape become uh, reborn and re-greened. We, we call it Green the Mountains. Okay. Uh, and you're an inventor of these techniques? Yes, I, I have a little team here in, in, in the shop and we sit here and we work out techniques that no one has thought of up to now. Okay. And so now we're on our way to build a few experimental sites and uh, learn from uh, what, what we find on the ground there. Have you built a house already? Yeah, well, the last year we, we had a small team, we built the uh, first recycled plastic waffle greenhouse in, in the Himalayas at 3,000 metres and uh, that has survived the winter snows of minus 30 and so now we know the technique is good and works. You two are both going to be delivering a gift to them once the highest concert has been finished. Yes, the piano will end up in this environmental college that does this pioneering work mm. and uh, they love the idea of uh, having music and tuition to the local children.
Thank you, that's one. Wow. <laughs> Back to work.